Hey everyone, Cody here, and welcome back to another video. Today I've got another dabbed painting for you. I'll be using a piece of cut corrugated plastic. Uh, the colors I'll be using are hot jazz, which is kind of a bright red, uh, black, white, and then gold. The gold is, I think, glidden or PPG. I don't know. It's a it's a water based paint. Uh, I got it at Home Depot, just as a heads up if anyone was curious. And then of course the other paints are gloss enamel that I get from Dunn Edwards. Um, so that's pretty much it for that. So as I was saying in my other videos for this type of painting, you know, I want little pockets of gold, but I'm not trying to have gold as kind of a, like the forefront here on this painting. So essentially you'll see, you'll see that I put the gold kind of just on the little pockets to kind of give it highlights. Um, as always, we start with the lightest color, which is white, um, and then we'll kind of move into the other colors afterwards. So I really don't care at this point about like the other colors after white, as long as the white kind of gets pulled out. Now, what I should have done was done all of the pockets of white, but I kind of forgot that there was another little pocket of that to do. So <laughs> I kind of um, didn't do that that one that's closest to my hand right now but anyway and then basically what i'm doing here is just picking up the paint from one area of the painting and bringing it to another area of the painting and so you know it puts the the different colors into the different areas um but also the it's kind of the suction the movement is also part of the painting so when you pull it up or when you put it down you you kind of push it down to to crush the paint right but to displace it so when you put down that flat surface you know it displaces that paint out um but then you, when you pick it up you, you pick it up kind of quickly and it and it suctions so what it does is it creates those little ripples that you see in the painting um because the paint is is kind of getting pulled away from it so it's almost like you know when you have like i don't know gum or something and you rip it and it leaves the little tendrils so when you kind of suction it down to the paint and then you like rip it off then it creates the little ripples that you kind of see in the painting here um so at this point i mean i'm pretty much done with the painting it, it, these paintings are literally very quick to make i mean they, I make them in like less than 10 minutes and they look awesome. I mean, so vibrant and, and full of movement. I, I mean, I've said that kind of in all these videos, but I just, I'm really impressed with how cool they look. And, and I want other people to try this so that they can tell me what their experience is with them. It doesn't matter, I think, if you use oil or acrylic or gloss enamel, I don't think that it really matters. Um, so the last two steps were just kind of filling in any pockets where there wasn't paint. Um, so I just used the edge of the cardboard and dipped it in paint to do that. And then, of course, removing the tape um, at the end, which again, I don't know if removing the tape at the end is the best thing to do right away while it's still wet because the paintings have been warping. So I'm going to, the next painting that I do like this, I'm going to leave the tape on complete, like the whole time it dries to see if that helps with the warping because I've been having that issue. Also, you can see that the paint kind of overran the edge over here on the left, but that's okay because it, when it gets matted and framed, you're not going to see it anyway. Um, but that's pretty much it for the video, guys. So if you like this video, please like, rate, share, subscribe, and I'll show you guys another one soon. Take care.